<clears throat> hey you guys um I just wanted to post a video about the whole um ginger thing and I'm not gonna say any last names because you know I don't want people trying to say oh you're slandering me or uh defamation of character or whatever uh this is not a defamation video this is not a slander video this is just information that I discovered on my own with my own personal research and that's all I have to say um about that <laughs> about my own personal research but um I did look this person up and I found out as much information as I possibly can she actually doesn't have any connections to anybody that is related to this case at all um which I don't either this is all just 100% reporting the truth and how I see it and how many other people should see it if they would just look it up themselves. Um, so the lady that was trying to fork out a universal routing number, one of her main reasons behind wanting to push this universal routing number is simply because the name of the bank is called America First. And I did the weird eye movements just to be a little sarcastic. Okay. And I don't know if you can put the connection with America first and the election that just happened with Donald Trump, which she is a very huge Trump supporter. She follows him. She supports him. Um, some of her family members that I've seen are big Trump supporters, which is fine. Anybody can support whoever they want. It's fine. I personally do not support Donald Trump because I'm not going to support any presidential entity because most of them are not really truly voted in. That's just a scam to make you think that you have some type of control when you really have no control. For example, I'll give you an example. Donald Trump went bankrupt. The Rockefellers bailed him out when he went bankrupt. He was an employee for the Rockefellers. The television channel NBC, where Donald Trump's um, show The Apprentice was shown on. NBC is owned by the Rockefellers. Okay, now let's go to MSNBC. MSNBC, which is mainly uh, a news media site or channel that um, shows a lot of progressive, liberal, democratic things, you know, they like to talk a lot of SHIT about Donald Trump. Well, the TV show Morning Joe, which comes on MSNBC, the blonde headed lady, the one that has like the really short blonde hair, her father is actually like one of the head guys in the whole Council of Foreign Affairs, which is actually the, the Foreign Affairs Council was developed by the Rockefellers. Her father is a conservative, extreme conservative, who is also affiliated with Donald Trump. Most of the guests that you see that go on MSNBC, which is a Rockefeller-owned company, news company, Rockefeller-owned company with the uh, Council of Foreign Affairs, the girl that uh, works on Morning Joe, which is the MSNBC show, progressive news mostly, democratic news mostly, her father is the leader behind a Rockefeller company and is also a conservative who is behind Donald Trump. Donald Trump was employed by a progressive, democratic-based news channel. Come on, you guys. Open up those minds and realize that it's all complete BS. Donald Trump is not, like, he's affiliated with the fucking bankers, man. He's affiliated with all of them. Trust me. There's only three countries left that don't have a central banking system. North Korea, Cuba, and Iran. Central banking system is owned by the Rockefellers. There is a central bank in every single country except for three. Okay? We're coincidentally about to go to war with one out of the three. Just look at this stuff with an open mind, okay? Donald Trump lives next door to the Rockefellers in New York City, okay? Donald Trump's favorite newspaper, one of his favorite, which he grew up reading, is the New York Times. 
go and Google who controls the New York Times and his connections with the Council of Foreign Affairs, the, his connection with the Rockefellers. Go and look at these Democratic news stations that post mostly Democratic stuff and go look at their connection with the conservative Rockefeller family. It's all to divide the country. Dividing the country is what they want. And right now, this whole TDA, SSN, Social Security account stuff, that's something that would probably bring this country together. You know, if it is 100% correct, it would bring a lot of people together, no matter where they come from, who they are. It would bring people together. So I'm just, that's just something I wanted to put out there. But all this information I'm telling you, you can Google it. You don't believe me? Just Google. Um, but back to the whole universal routing number thing. Okay, if you go back and, and you look historically at the people that have ever been arrested and thrown in jail for 17 to 18 years or life in prison or they've died in prison that uh, has been doing stuff like this where they use checking accounts or they made checks with routing numbers to Fed banks or uh, Fedwire banks or whatever, um, those people all went to prison for years because they were using random routing numbers. Just because a bank is called America First and Donald Trump, one of his slogans was America First, that does not mean that that is like magically like some magical freaking thing from the universe that says this is the bank we all need to use. Come on, you guys. Be smart about this. Be smart. Look at all your information. Find out everything. I want this all to work out perfectly for everyone, but just be smart. And also with the US, the UCC1 uh, filings, I'm looking at what people are filing. They're requesting their factual trust from the United States. The United States has nothing to do with the Federal Reserve. Nothing. The Federal Reserve is a private entity. The United States uses the Federal Reserve as a tool for you know different things, but it does not own the Federal Reserve. Federal Reserve is privately owned. So I don't think it's very logical to ask the United States for your factualized trust because the United States is not gonna be able to give it to you. If the United States gives you your factualized, uh, you know, if the United States gets your UCC filing and it says, hey, I want my factualized trust from the Federal Reserve. If the United States even dared to go to the Federal Reserve, they would laugh in their fucking face. Do you know how many times there's been congressional members that have brought the Federal Reserve in front of Congress and requested an audit and the Federal Reserve said, no, you don't have the authority to get that. And everybody blames this on the government. It's the government. It's the government. You need to think very smart. Okay. Not every single person in the United States government has a clue what the Federal Reserve is doing. The Federal Reserve is privately owned. Okay. They can do whatever they want, whatever they want. You need to go back and you need to look at this information. Anybody that's filing these UCC filings and stuff, don't be asking the United States for money. The United States doesn't have your money. The Federal Reserve has your money. All the elite bankers that are behind the Federal Reserve have your money. Not Trump, not Obama, not Bernie Sanders, not Elizabeth Warren, None of your congressmen, none of your government officials, the Rockefellers, the Rothschilds, all of those people, they have your money. Go contact them. And, you know, I'm wondering with this whole UCC filing, if you don't do it right, you will be fucked, completely screwed. You need to make sure you guys know what you're doing. Anyways, this video is getting kind of long. And I'm going to let you guys go. That's just my train of thought right now and things that I've been thinking about. And um, keep Heather and Randy in your prayers and thoughts. You know, he used his Federal Reserve number. He used the number that was associated with his Social Security card. He didn't use any lesser banks. He didn't use any other routing numbers. He used the routing number that was associated with his card. And that's it. You guys be smart, okay? Bye. Make sure you like and subscribe. <laughs> Love you. Bye.